Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. Got a viewer letter today. And most of the time when I do a video for viewers, hopefully we have a good ending. I help somebody out. Uh, that's what I want to do on this YouTube channel is to help people out. Today, unless one of you can pull a rabbit out of the hat, it's going to have a bad ending today. And it all came from this letter from Real. R Real? The letter reads... Bonjour. Uh, uh, letters in French. Well, I was about ready to delete the email. And I told my wife, I'm looking at this letter in French I can't read. And she said, go to Google Translate. And as I was copying the letter on Google Translate, which you can do and paste it on the French side and ask it to translate to English, I noticed a couple of words I was familiar with. Uh, first one was Hardy, and the second one was Case 1594. Well, right there, I kind of got an idea of what this letter's about, but here's how it reads in English, translated by Mr. Google. It says, Hello, I would like to know if you would have the plans for a Hardy 85DL loader. I am looking for the chassis plans for a Case 1594. The loader is self-leveling. I bought it from a dealership. They built another garage. They own eight, and the chassis is lost between transports, and since the manufacturer no longer exists, it's impossible for me to have the plans. A salesperson told me to check hitch manufacturers for different models you might have. You might have that. Thanks. Okay, let's go back. What's a Hardy loader? Well, Hardy was a Canadian company in, in uh, uh, the uh, Quebec area, the French-speaking part of Canada, that sold quite a few loaders, and I want to say maybe in the late 80s or 90s, somewhere back in that time frame. And um, they got bought out by another company, which I actually am a dealer for through a distributor called, and I don't know how to say this exactly, I left them a voicemail when I was compiling this video. It's, it, it looks like Pronovost, but it's like Pronovost, something like that, if you're French. I'm sorry I'm butchering it. But anyway, they bought the Hardy Loader Company. And the Hardy Loader Company made, I think, really good quality loaders. Sold them throughout Canada and some in the northern part of the United States. And then they sold out. And then they're no longer in business. They're owned by a different company that supplies parts for them. But this guy sounds like, through Google Translate, he's bought a Hardy Loader. And maybe a new one. And they've been, I think, gone for a while with no brackets to mount it on his tractor. He has a Case 1594 tractor and he's looking for the brackets. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys, when you go into a farm equipment dealership and you have a tractor with no loader on it and you want to price on a loader, you can almost feel the pain on the salesman's face. Putting a loader on a tractor, an aftermarket loader, is one of the hardest things to do when you're a salesperson at a farm equipment dealership. And the reason that is, is there are so many variables that have to be followed for that loader to fit, for that to bolt on. When you're ordering the brackets and the hydraulics and everything, it's a really long involved process to get the right thing. And if you are looking in a catalog at any of the aftermarket loaders, like a Westendorf or um, a Quickie, which is now distributed through Bush Hog and Rhino, or a Woods, and I'm not even sure that you can get a Woods loader anymore, or um, uh, Quaker, uh, some of the loader companies that are out there. They make aftermarket loaders, but if you were looking in their catalogs, they would list the tractors that, that a particular loader fits, and then they would have a whole bunch of notes under that. And the notes might say, won't fit a cab tractor. It might say, won't fit a four-wheel drive tractor. It might say, it won't fit a tractor with 14 924s. There's always a whole bunch of variables in the frame of a tractor that might keep that loader mount from mounting on that tractor without major blacksmith work. And when you buy a loader with no brackets, you are asking for a train wreck. And I hate to tell you this, Real. I don't think this is going to end well. You've got a, probably a new loader that's been sitting on a dealer's lot for years. And what probably happened is the Hardy Loader Company had an incentive program to get dealers to order loaders. 
And maybe they ordered 10 loaders and they got freight free. So this dealer ordered a bunch of loaders. And he figured, when I find out who needs the loader, I'll order that kit, the mounting kit, that actually goes on the tractor to hook the loader to the frame of the tractor. I'll order the mounting kit then. And then the company gets sold. And now, today, those mounting kits are no longer available. So, the only two options you've got in this situation, and I think the dealer, I'd, I'd be taking that loader back to the dealer and saying, I want my money back, because it's really kind of, he, he actually led you to believe that you could get brackets for that thing, and you can't get new brackets for that loader. I've verified that with my sales rep, who has verified it with Provenost, or Pronovost, or Pronovo. They didn't buy the tooling to make the brackets to fit the loader to the tractor, like in this picture right here. So those are not available. So you have two options if you want to keep that loader and mount it to your case. You can make your own brackets, and that's going to take some major blacksmith work. And if you're good with a torch and metal, you can make it happen. But when you look at how these hardy loaders mount on tractors, it's, it's a little complicated. You'd have to make a cradle and make the brackets that go on the side rails of the case tractor. And that's going to be a time-consuming job. Or the second thing I could say is if any of my viewers out there have a hardy loader that's no longer functional and you've got the mounting bracket and you want to sell it to this guy in Canada, I'll put you two together. Just leave it in the comments below. And if any of you know anything about the Hardy Loader Company, kind of fill in the blanks about the history, I'm curious because I'm a farm equipment nerd and I like the history of part of farm equipment because there's a lot of companies like Hardy that were going great guns at one time that no longer make product. And I'm always curious uh, because I get a lot of calls from people. Now, I have a website where I sell quick attach conversion kits. And when I started that, ATI, a company in Pennsylvania that I do a lot of business with, offered a kit for a Hardy Loaders. And I actually show up with these kits for a Hardy Loaders. And that's the first I'd ever heard of a Hardy Loader. I've never seen one or touched one. But they offered a quick attach conversion for one, but the volume on those was so low, they've discontinued that, and those are no longer available. So if you Google Hardy Loaders, my website may come up, but that product is not available anymore. So that's the story on Hardy Loaders. And I hate to tell you, sir, Mr. Viewer, but I think you've bought a Accra de Bateau, a boat anchor. Sorry. Appreciate you watching my videos. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd be honored. Click the Mike Face icon and check the bell so you're notified when I post future videos. Here's a link to my website and the Tractor Fun Store with all kinds of unique ideas for the tractor owner. Help support my channel. And here's another video you might want to watch. Thanks for watching.